Hey everybody, so today is the day for my first Lee Chess tournament while I'm streaming on YouTube. So I'm really excited and looking forward to having this tournament being played out. So we have this top seed chart, seeing all the title players, and my friend from Vietnam is the first board. So his name is Min Lee, and he's really, really, really good at Blitz. So I'm expected to be the seeing him at the top for a long time. So I think he's uh, the favorite. So let's see how it goes. Uh, the turn will be starting in two seconds, and we'll see the pairing about the social system so people can join late, and the pairs will be in social style. So let's see the game. So this is like uh, this is a game from Min Lee. So I'll be um, – I'll just watch that. And I'll just do another tab to have a person join my club. But I don't know if you can join the tournament with a Swiss system. So people cannot join late in Swisses, but they can join late in arenas. But I accepted him to my club anyways. So we see this setup with Bishop e5, now 3d4. And... It's transposed to some sort of a modern defense, I'm assuming. So if you see this E4, G6 stuff, maybe it looks like that. To me, at least, it does. So this is interesting. So we're, we're going to see if Black can... Survive. Okay, it's looking like the white wants to go queenside, but a6, b5 is coming. So a4 being played by Min Lee to prevent b5. So b5 is not possible because the a pawn. And the, if they take out the b pawn with the a takes b5, then rook and a8 will be unguarded and lost for black. That would not be good. So the castle kingside. Min Lee castles kingside. So it's really good to keep her king safe. Make sure you don't lose a queen and the king for sure. So now there's before to pin that knight in a three, ace three to to take the call to action. So what are you gonna do with the bishop? Just want to go back or take the knight in a three. So let's see what Black wants to do. So he takes on a three. So mainly pre-move to take on a three with the knight on d2. So he's really fast. This mainly guy, the board one guy. And the a5 attacking the bishop and knight on f3. So I'm expecting that maybe they can take an e5 with the knight. They can attack back with the queen and the bishop on d5 will be undefended. So, okay. So Minley plays bishop a2. So doesn't worry about this knight on e5. They can take on f3 check and the queen will take back. This is an option for black. But we'll see what he does. So Min Lee is already up over a minute. So B5 is played. Getting space on the queen side for black. So to be honest, don't be reacted to taking B5. Because Min Lee knows that if black takes an A4, the pawns will be ugly. Every pawn will be ugly. So actually, he took an B5, so that was interesting. But... In actual fact, if the bishop, if the pawn does not take an b5, if you go back, and if black takes the pawn e4, then the pawns will be isolated and ugly. So, other way, the way will be having a benefit, even though he's down a pawn. But now, mainly decides to choose this way. And e5 is interesting. So, if the queen takes e5, and we'll see what. What well, mainly has in store as a counterattack. So, so let's see. Queen takes e5. So this Maestro Geo guy is think about it. It's like, why can't I take the pawn a5? So it's just interesting to see what he does. Yep, he does that. So let's see what mainly has in mind. Let's we'll see. So I'm not sure myself. Maybe opening up lines with rook f1, taking e7. Maybe rook f1, taking the rook queen and the pawn behind it. But I was not sure about the pawn stack. 
but attack of the bishop at g5 as well. So rook f1 just loses the bishop at g5. So maybe he forgot that the bishop on g5 was hanging, not defended. So maybe it's like, oh no, I forgot. Moment. So Minley is thinking about for a little bit. So he probably forgot the bishop b5 is not defended at the wall. So he can't do the plan he was supposed to try to do with a rook a for one. So he has to defend this guy on g5, I'm thinking. Let's see what he does. So I think that, I don't know. I think that's, okay, take on f7. Wow, take on f7. I did not see that coming. So if they take with the rook, with a bishop and then the rook and the eight will be hanging non-defended. So bishop rook takes g f7 and rook takes a8. Check will be a winning a, a entire rook. So they take with the king. Bishop takes f6. So mainly it was actually thinking about a tactical combination. So let's see if it works out. If it doesn't work out, then mainly is done in the minor piece. But the cost of for black is the same thing. Two things too long. So now. They take an a8 twice, and now also you, this queen and the rook will be taking the a8 square, and they roll in a rook on the a8 square. So it's it's a it's basically terrible, very 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 much terrible for the for the black pieces. So I don't know what what black can do now. So I I got completely caught off guard with the tactics. So I forgot the queen is looking at a8 with a rook on a1. So, so that was very good insight. So not butter, but very. He want to clear out the way for the queen to look on a8. So uh, it's like a really good concept. So if you go way back there, e5 pawn stack. I was thinking that it's like a generic thing, but I did not see this bishop f7 to have this queen and rook coordinating a8. And that was a way to win the game. So going back to the original position, the current position rather. And yeah, so what should be winning this game? And it's a matter of technique and amount of time. So because he's over a minute, well, pretty much a minute up on the clock with a winning pawning game. So he has an extra pawn with a pawning game. So he's going to force the king, the black king, to lose a pawn. So he doesn't care about the B, uh, the B pawn because the king will be swinging over the um, a, the king side and win the game. So let's go back to the tournament. Let's go back to the tournament. So so we can see the first the people that won the first game. So this is the next game. That is like a twenty three hundred player. So all the games will be. Fish for the first round before any games for the top board. He has to wait for everybody else to finish their first game to play the second game. That's while how the Swiss works. So they have to wait for everybody before they play the second game and play the second person opponent. So they take him to uh, H4 to win a piece, and this is really really bad. So the C pawn is a Pass pawn, monster. Let's see what's going to go on. Ooh. That was a good game. Good game for the black player. So let's go back to the... Okay, next round will be starting in 10 seconds. 10 seconds. So this is going to be a good thing. All right, so I'm going to see... Okay, next opponent for Be My Wife. It's just a name for this guy. So I'm going to see what this message is about. So, this is our round for two. Round two is just beginning. So, let's see what Min Lee does.
Oh, he's thinking. He's thinking for the first move. So I don't. Hey, Wamba Chess, how are you doing? I'm shocked that you are on my stream. So what? It's not nice to see you. It's really nice to see you. So I'm gonna say hello, hello, Wamba Chess. So this is Min Lee from the Vietnam. He's my personal friend, and he won the last tournament I had held in Lee Chess. And um, he's dominating the field. He's uh, only two rounds in. And the opponent, the B, my wife, he's not making any moves. So he's, I don't know what he's doing. But we can only wait. This moment, we can only wait for a response from him to start the game. So, yeah. As a reminder, guys, is a Swiss. So... If he wins the game on time, he has to wait for everybody else in the tournament to end their second game to play their his third game. So the 10 res, rounds in this Swiss tournament, and this is only the second game. So this baby my wife guy is giving him at least time odds. Was that very good against Min Lee? So Min Lee is very fast. So he's gonna be very fast, and this guy. Be my wife. I'll be praying the price. All right. So maybe I can just go to another game for sure. Why do I want want to waste time for this game? So maybe I can do another game. Um, this guy, Zevin Chess Mode. So, seven chess mode. Oh, already won his game, second game. So, really fast. So, this guy, this guy is like, oh, okay, um, <clears throat> this guy's not doing anything either. So, wow, this is uh, strange. I don't know why. This is the second guy that's not moving. Huh, this is a very interesting situation. I don't know why people are not moving. Let's see. Let's see the boards. There's games starting, so let's see about this game. Oh, this is Chip the Wombat. Oh, this is the guy that is in my chat. Let's see him. Cheer for him. So, Chip the Wombat. He's my student, by the way. And let's see how he dominates his opponent. He's 21-19. So taking C6, trace the B pawn for the C pawn. Takes on Queen C2 and trying to threaten the bishop, so he moves it back naturally. So what is the pawn? But black has the bishop versus the knight. So interesting imbalance. Let's see how he does. So we can only cheer and hope for the best for trip, the wombat. So Quincy through check, the king has to go somewhere to g8, he picks. So centralizing the knight is really good in this case. So knight d4 is way better than knight b3. So proving pieces all the time and to win the game. So step by step, he gets a little bit more improvements every time at every move. And hopefully he'll win the game. Queen c4 check. So very fancy. So queen, king g7 or king f8 will be met by knight e6 fork of the king and the queen. So he goes king e8. So let's see what trip does next. So by the way, there's a one second increment. So there's no way to, well, there's a way to fly people, but it's not easy. People can play really fast and just to get more time. So now he's six check. I'm basically maneuvering the knight to f4 instead of d4. Let's see how that works out. Is the benefit or not? Yeah, if he's up with time. Well, no, he's not up time. What I'm thinking about, I'm looking for the black side. So black is up on time. We'll see what trip does. So knight d5 check, another check. And the king has to go to g5, which is really, really, really ugly. Oh, look, you know, he wants the queen by a fork. And, yep, triple the wombat. He made an upset against the 2100. 
congratulations, Trip, Trip, and from beating this really good, strong player for your second round. I'm so happy to see this result for Trip. So I'll just post in the comments. Yay, my student just took down a very strong player. So, okay, so this is a third round. So this is a Min Lee against Artem Diachuk. So D4, knife six, knife three, E6. There should be five if you follow the pattern. Okay, but C4 instead. So different things. D5, B5. So Benko Gambit sort of thing. Benoni. Maybe a Benko Gambit. C3. Okay, interesting. Okay, interesting, interesting. So C3 is isolated. So mainly is thinking about what to do next. How to defend the C3 pawn, or maybe not. Think about tactical things like he always does. <laughs> Things like bishop c4, knight takes c3, queen b3 is an interesting thought. So if they do that, they're, oh, they're in queen c3, uh, queen b3, attacking the f7 square and the knight on the c3, but it doesn't happen. So knight e4 was played, defending the, the, the pawn and also covering the attack on the knight on d5. The game was cool, Mabia Chess says. Play well. Yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. I'm going to be cheering for you again if I see your game, your second game that I saw. So, so now I have six. Okay, plainly going back. So no pressure on Min Lee. So Bishop B3 just developing the pieces. Just want to castle kingside, safely playing simple chess. So I always like to tell my students to play simple chess, not make it complicated, if you can help it. Let's see what black wants to do. He castles. Castles. So later on in the stream, guys, I'll be accompanied by my friend Lockie Tuba from Iceland. Unless if he comes too late. So I told him that he had a plan already set before um, this tournament is started, so I said, okay, you can join me as a co-host later, but we'll see how long that um, other plan is going to be lasting. But we'll see. But by the way, if you guys see value and gain value from watching this tournament and watching the stream, please press the like button in the stream, and it'll be really helpful to encourage me to do more streams like this. And have a good time watching the rest of the tournament. So queen of f5. So maybe some like queen h5. Discovery things. Maybe it's coming. Let's see. Let's see. So what uh, black is up in time. So that's a good thing against Min Lee. So don't go down on time with Min Lee. Or else he's going to be flagging you. He'll do that. Doesn't matter if you have a one well, second like increment. So he'll find a way to flag you. He's really fast. He's gonna he's able to compete with players like Hikaru Nakamura, which is a big statement. And Blitz, no less. So he can compete with Magnus. Uh, he can compete with Hikaru Nakamura and Blitz. So that's thing a lot. A lot. So attacking the queen on f5 and Minley sacks the bishop saying, okay, I just Make your king wide open for attacks, and I'll be preparing attack really surely. Just hold on, and the king will be discovered and attacked for sure by the black pieces. So maybe moves like knight g5 will be coming, and maybe queen 7 threats or something else. We'll see. So stay tuned, basically, is what he's saying. Very exciting game, Sacrifices.
Okay, so um, Mama Chess says, um, I got a cup a cut up in an open trap. Oh no, that's not good. Not family friendly. So the second game was not real good. Oh no. <laughs> so we can just hope for the best and hopefully the next game you can have will be a clear win against maybe a higher rated opponent like last time, but even higher than him. We'll see. So mainly gains the time advantage back because his opponent stopped too long, which is a very big no-no against Min Lee. Rook d5, interesting to have a rook lift maybe to h5, maybe. This rook lifts are just interesting. Another piece to the attack in a vic an effective way. So yeah, knight e5. Knight e5, oh wow, this is going to be crucially annoying for a black. Oh, okay, he blocks that with a rook a6 move. Very effective. Queen e3, bishop b7, rook takes c5. d6 to deck the rook, but rook c7, this rook on the 7th rank, they love to go there and attack things on the 7th rank. So the rook is on a, at a very good and effective square. So now six, I was seeing that coming. So if the queen takes there, whoops, checkmate with the queen because the rook on c7 is defending it. So, okay, there's a rook sack. Well, not really a rook sack. So if they take with the rook, boom, the knight will be defending the queen. It'll be checkmate. So black resigns and the game is won by men. So I get another message. I just uh, open up another tab and I'll go back to the tournament. Alrighty. Let's see, aha, Akeem is my other friend. Let's see how he does. Let's see how he does. So Hakeem is a really good friend of mine. Yep, this one, rook d8. Yep, he's preparing a checkmate in two, maybe three, but yeah, maybe not in mate because the the good one, the queen, with queen g1. But now is check to the king and queen f5. So he wants to make sure that he doesn't do a perpetual check. So he lost a knight and f6, but the game is not over. So he took it in b4, and but huh, this is not good. This is not good at all. So it's not over, but uh, it's gonna be. Yeah, Hakim is playing too fast, and you forgot that. Oh, the queen can go there. Yeah, you can. And black just I guess checkmate on the f1 square. Wow, interesting. Very interesting. So, all right. So I'm gonna be going back to the tournament. Let's see. Next round will be starting in five seconds. So we have in perfect scores. Um, we have three people. Zevin. The guy that we play against us and uh, uh, my friends, you see in a couple of videos in the stream like about that. But yeah, and also Min Lee. So let's go to Zavin. Zavin. So this is Zavin's game. He's playing an FM. So I'll just be cheering for Zavin. He's a good friend of mine. He's really good. Cast the king side. Let's see, a4 to b5 for the knight. So he really wants to press on b5 for the knight. So b5 is happening anyway, so it doesn't matter. So they take an passat, and they want to put pressure on this a6 pawn maybe, but it's really hard to do that for black, or for white now. So. Let's see. Okay, I'm responding to the message. 
I'm responding to a message that I got. So he says, guy says, do you train guys? Yes, I do. Okay, so apparently these these guys have been playing before, and uh, Zavin won six times, and uh, FM won once. If you see the scores right down there, so they've played before. Taking a five, queen a five, attacking the, well, putting pressure in there. It's not attack because the queen is defending and d three. All right, but let's see what what does. So we down in time. So Zabin is also a guy that you don't want to be down in time with. It's so 95 attacking the queen by Zavin. He wants him to take the knight, the bishop on f4. Because this bishop is a good bishop. So if you see the pawns on d5 and e4, they're opposite colors from this bishop in f4. That makes it good. Whereas this bishop is on the same color as the center pawns, that'll be a bad bishop. So he wants to trade his good bishop for the decent knight. But it's strategically better for black to trade this way. But... Seven goes queen d4, queen e3, queen a4, putting pressure on this guy. This guy is actually not defended anymore. So he has to just concern this guy from lot loose, being lost. So let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. Me too, defending that guy this way. But he's really down time. Two minutes down. That's not really good for advisable and this type of bus time control. Three minutes and one second increment. So to being timed two minutes at that time control is is uh, really bad. Bishop of six defending this way. So Zevin is all under control. So yeah, he takes there, but it doesn't matter if he did lose the, um, this e7 pawn because Zavin has something in mind. Because if you take the pawn, the pawns will be all, like, this will be ugly, so c file will be isolated. So might as well just give him that pawn. So he wants to make sure the pawns will be only two islands and not isolated. So that's a good decision by Zavin, and he's up on time, so no worries. Up with these things, and he won a pawn. And he's attacking another pawn, so the pawn will be get you know brought back. And the c4 pawn will be a monster for black. So three three is coming, and it's very much worth the investment of e7 pawn to have a pass c pawn, more than enough. So let's see what does. Okay, he takes the f2, and he mates. He just checkmates him. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So Zavin is uh, four out of four. Wow. Let's see. Min Lee. Yep. Let's go to my friend Min Lee. So he's playing against the 2300 guy. So he's playing black in the game. This game. So, so white offers a draw. Twice and Minley <laughs> made Minley just made the move and declined it. So this guy is desperate to draw Minley. Rook D C eight, putting pressure and maybe going to Rook C two. Something like this. Minley is really sharp and tactical and wants to just want to go good in time. So. Interesting that he did not take an exchange. So basically, I think that, yeah, because the pawn will take and it'll be check, the queen will be lost by the pawn attacking the queen. So that's why they cannot take uh, take the rook on c3 with the knight because it discovered checks and it loses the queen on d2. So anyways, 
And uh, yeah, a third time. This guy offered to draw a third time. So that's annoying for Min Lee's side. This guy wants to draw him every other move. What do you do? What do you do? <clears throat> Yep. So he wants to defend a good G2. So, okay. Rook C6. Defends B6. B5. Attack of the Rook. But the Rook is still hanging on the Bishop on E6 now. So, Queen E1. F5. Regressive move. Taking A4. And he is there. And this threat is coming. Because the pawn will be pinned. Let's see. Yep. Just gets out of the pin with King F2 h2 rather and we'll see what what does because he's down in time 20 seconds if you're down in time i guess minley it's gonna be likely that you're gonna lose even for people like hikaru and not likely you're gonna be surviving this way so he loses a h3 and uh the queen is guarding g3 but maybe you take the bishop Maybe, but bishop. Oh, this is uh, yeah. Just take. Whoa, wasn't you two mate? But this is a mate as well. <laughs> this is mate involved. So I'm gonna be um. All right, I just have the message, and I'll just go back to the tournament. Okay, the tournament well, next round will be starting in uh, two minutes. Uh, no, it's not two minutes, but it's like a ten seconds. So this uh, only for okay. This is, uh, I think the Zavin and uh, Min Lee will be playing against each other because they are yep they're already playing. So they're my two friends are playing each other. So Min Lee and Zavin. So I think that Min Lee has a is a favorite because he's white white and he is a dominant player. So if you see that oh actually the past they played a lot of times and Zavin actually has a plus score twelve versus eleven. So. It's interesting. Let's see how this game progresses. Let's see how this game progresses. So this is really exciting to see my friends. And they're really close to tight matches. So they played a lot of times before. And uh, I don't I I I don't I don't know what to who would cheer for, who's gonna win, but we'll see it right now. So I'm gonna be sort of responding to the messages and I'll just let you guys enjoy the game. Okay, messages to join across, but people have to realize that you can't, I, I don't think you can join the uh, arena. Well, you can't join a Swiss light. Yeah, I accepted people in my club, a club and another guy. Okay, Black was offering a draw to Min Lee and Min Lee said, no, I want to win. So Minley is determined determined to win a game is white, not draw him. Because I think that Zavin, um, Minley knows that Zavin is his top of tough as opponent. So he wants doesn't want to have um, a race against winning faster than um Zavin. So he wants to beat him for sure. So it's a interesting situation. But let's see. So um I forgot. That I'll I'll just let you guys to enjoy this show and this match. Both players are the two top seeds, my friends. Let's see how it goes. Black offers draw again. We'll see. You. Yep. Oh, the guy. No, I'm not gonna play you. Have this tournament.
H5 attacking by Zevin. Zevin really wants to draw. This guy wants to play me. So Zeb is up on time. So that'll be an interesting dynamic. So black has weak pawns. All the pawns are isolated. All the pawns are isolated. And Min Lee has one uh, isolated pawn. Well, there's two isolated pawns, the DB and D pawn. But he's also down in time. So it's interesting to be balanced. So black has ugly pawns all around. And white is down in time. So we'll see who wins. So it's... I'm looking forward to who is the victor in this game. This is, I think, the best. That'll be this. will be the best game of the tournament. So this is like uh, aggressive things by Black. And he wants to defend against the past D pawn, so mainly just puts it all right ahead. And the Queen C7 check will be when the rook. So Zavin goes Queen C6 to block that, but he loses the B pawn on B4. So I think that Zavin is losing, losing his steam. He has double, like, he has ugly pawns. So the people in the chat says, hi, hi, go Zavin. <laughs> people are cheering for Zavin. But like I said, both of them are my friends, so I'm not going to cheer for anybody. But I'm just looking forward to who is going to be winning the game. Yep, check on the eight, and a seven is a mate. Oh, Minley took the down the beast, the hardest opponent, the most difficult opponent you're going to be playing in this tournament. He just took him down already. Let's see this one. Just open this one up. Okay. Aha, uh -huh, this is the other, other friend I have, Vishnu. So he's playing the white pieces. So I'm cheering for him. So streaming, he's streaming in this game. So he's interesting in balance because black has a knight for, it looks like three pawns. No, two pawns, right? Yeah, knight for two pawns. N no, three pawns. What, what, what do I think about? So, so, yeah, knight for three pawns. But, yeah, two pass pawns. Right now, b5 and c5 is really scary. So, maybe Vishnu has it in the bag. Maybe. Maybe. So, if you push one, like, uh, let's say, c6. And, uh, yeah, exactly, c6. They can't go king d6 because the pawn e5 is blocking d6. So this is a really good push. So, okay, he goes there. He loses, he loses g3, but the other pawns will be pushing, I think. Maybe something like king g5. Yeah, exactly. Don't, don't care about these guys. Maybe he wants to think about it. So does he have to play, yep, king f6, e6, e7. You can do, yeah, e6. They're f5. You support the pass pawn, and you're going to go maybe, well, you can't go king f7 because king e5 comes. So you have to go there, and yeah, king f7, and maybe f6. Maybe f6. Yep. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Just, uh, just wait. Hold the line. Hold the line. You have... You have free reign. The king or the knight will be paralyzed. You can play with a... Maybe the king goes to the queen side. So, don't... Okay, so this is a worrisome situation. So, let's see how he does. What he does. How he does what he does. I think that he goes 
maybe like this one, this one. It doesn't matter if it goes there or there. It's just F7. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's just Drew. So I think that I, I'm discussing that maybe it's like um, something like uh, King F7, A6, King F8. I had to have to do a tempo there somewhere. So Knight D6, F7. A6, E8 will be a win for White. But uh, time pressure. And he was up in time. So maybe F7, E8 was to be the winning idea. But oh, well. Oh, well. Another game. Okay, there's another, another game for round, fi round five. Round five or six. Okay, there's a London system. So Trip will be really happy to see this game. Trip will be happy to see this game. So Minley is the lead, the officially in lead. The perfect score, of, I think, a five out of five. He defeated Zavin, which is the most, um, the highest rated challenge opponent that he ever played this tournament. And he had, he even scored out because the mass score before they, they played the day was Zavin was up one game. So now the, the, basically the winning score between them two is even. So they beat each other the same amount of times. And Zavin was trying to draw all the time, saying, Alfred draw every other move, and he lost the game. So let's see how this game goes. So I'm cheering for, for sure, I'm cheering for Min Lee, this 27 to 56 guy. So I'm going to be, um, sorry guys, I'm going to be um, opening up this thing at the tab. Turn requests. Okay. People forget that you can't join a Swiss tournament. <laughs> Wait, I said, uh, like, an old and bold character. Don't be late. <laughs> and people join late. I would try to join late, but, but yeah, that's fine. So it'll be fine. You're back. Hey, Trip, how are you doing? So the top seed is actually playing um, one of your favorite openings, a lot of the system. So my friend from Vietnam, the board one in this um, tournament, he's playing the London system. So I'm shooting for him, and this game will be educational for you too. So are you still in playing in the tournament, or are you just taking a break? But I thought you were having friends, like um, plans to do something with your friends. But maybe plans changed. Okay, so ninety seven defend f six, but the structure just defending like this is making the ninety seven not doing anything but defend, not doing anything but defend. And what has pressure? Just build out the pressure, build out the pressure somehow, some way. So mentally will find a way to build up the pressure and with a pressure like this um you can see that what has initiative so what is initiative so basically uh, basically i'll say basically is control of the game so you don't have to make it complicated for yourself so just think about it it's like you have initiative you have a control of the game simply so 90 uh, and i have three okay interesting Yeah, 95. So don't don't trade this way because he'll take the pawn and just correct this F6 weakness and take that. So Min Lee is too smart for that. So just play bishop 3 and have this maybe lined up for discover attack. Maybe. So work of 7 maybe wants to go doubling on this square and a fate. Maybe work G8 or work A shades. We'll see. Work F1. Yep, exactly. Work A F8. So Chip the Wamba says, um, I thought that this term is later. So I was okay. So I was living for my 
friend's house at like two. Oh, that's good. That's good that you were able to make it. So also you're able to play this tournament. So so it's really nice to see you're here and enjoy this tournament and enter the tournament with an upset. So I saw the first game, but I didn't see the, the second game that you said uh, you had an open trap that you fell for. So I didn't see that. So you don't have to worry about that. You're, you're just showcasing bad game. So nobody saw that. Okay, so he took N F five. So yeah, bishop takes. I was thinking about that. So what has a bishop pair? And this is a this is a very ugly weakness. An F six. Let's see what black does now. So one thing is like I've just harped it too much, maybe annoyingly too much, is that if you're down in time against Min Lee, my friend. Um, it's a really bad thing to happen. So you don't want to be a down in time against Min Lee because he can, he can beat people like a car knock him around bliss that way. So if a car knocks, knows not to be a down in time against Min Lee, you shouldn't too. <laughs> you shouldn't be down in time is either. So now you have to do attack on the three, the rook. So Min Lee goes away. H3. Yep, maybe it moves like bishop before will happen. Yep, mm -hmm. he does that. Took the knight, uh, pawn c5, knight e4, running that knight to defend the f6 pawn. But again, everything is defending, or is what is attacking. So, what is better just because of that factor? So, he has the control of the game initiative. So, black is defending, blocking, 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 but what is attacking, attacking, attacking. So I'm glad. Sturp says, I'm glad that no one saw it. <laughs> okay. So also Wamba says, um, if a car is not fast enough, I'm not. Oh, yeah, definitely. So the rule of thumb is like a car Nakamura made entire um, YouTube videos titled, Why is this not a G this guy not a GM yet? <laughs> so he's not an international master, but he plays like a a grandmaster, so he's a top tier bliss player that makes Ikaro Nakamura even have a challenge. So that says a lot. So F6, oh, this is past pawns with a double uh, discovered attack in the six. Yeah, the game is over. This game is completely over, and he won this game. So I, he moves up to six out of six, a perfect score, and the next round will be in. 10 seconds. So Zavin is following up with 5 out of 6, losing to Minling. And below him is 4.5 out of 5. So, okay, next game is right here. D4, D5, F3. What? Okay, the, the acceptor draw. Wow, a draw is that ready? Ready? So there's still more games to be played, right? So let's look at my other friend, Zavin. That's shocker. That's a complete shocker. He just took a draw really, really fast, lightly fast. But he's black, so you can do that, I think. <laughs> he's still in the lead by the half point. Well... Yeah, but even if I think that even if um, Zevin wins this game, Minley will be up a high, by a half a point. Yeah, by a half a point. Minley just wants to make sure he wins. Yep. Mm -hmm. Just not stress about this round um, eight. This is eight, round eight out of ten. So after this game, he only has to win two more games. He just secures the first place prize. So he just says, oh, I'm in the clear first. So, like, I'll draw like, one game. It's a black, so why not? So I'm going to win two more games. And one of those games, I'll be white, and I'll be crushing this guy, this, whoever that is. That is. And, uh, yeah, it's like um, Swiss strategy is finest. So my other friend, Zavin, is right now playing. And uh, let's see what the opening is. So I see three. Wow. So this is uh, – if you see this um, 
trip. Is it called the Jabavalan in the Knights of Three and Bishop of Four with the Knights of Three inclusion? So this is a, if you saw the videos that I made for you, that I only recommend Knights of Three against G6 setups with the Grunfeld and the King's Union defense, but uh, I don't recommend this one for like a generic D5, C5 stuff. But we'll see how this goes. But Zavin knows a lot. For blacks, I'm just talking about for white. Yeah. So I don't recommend for the white side. But people like Jobava plays it. But stick with simple chess for this um, D5 C size sub. The play of London is no, normal London. So for D1. So Zavina is up on time, so that's a good thing. Would it be two? Yeah. Basically he's saying, just go in the end game with me. I'm just better. So he, he smartly just not does does do the queen trade. So yep, Zav is saying, okay, I'll take your Epon. Take any two. Uh, take any four rather rather. So yeah, so <laughs> uh this is problems. Problems like, uh, okay, rook b2, entangle g2, with a rook and queen, just doing a battery on g2 is really bad for black or for white. Well, I'm just mixing up my words, sorry. So, really bad for whites. So, they go queen f1, the queen will be really passive, really passive. And they can do a lot of things. They can take a four. Do other things, yeah. The queen f1, that they can. Oh, yeah, this is also good. Yep, king g3 does also. This is all very ugly pawns. Look at this. This, this is like a stuff that you can show for Halloween. All the pawns are isolated, like isolated pawns. All the pawns are isolated. So, this is stuff for Halloween. Scary. Don't show your kids. Oh, wow. So, king h1. Wow, this is ugly. So don't play this way against Zavin. Don't play this way against Zavin. Uh, queen a6. So defending in uh, a4, but I, he loses g2. So can I play Zavin? Just play this. Let's see. He plays queen c2, but maybe he can go rook g1. But he's probably trying to do a pass pawn sort of thing, just taking c3. And he's moving. Okay, queen a4. Maybe take this one or this one, but yeah, he wants to create a pass pawn somewhere. Check doesn't matter. He wants to just push his own pass pawn, but whoa, what? What? I think it's Evan made a mouth slip. What? He made a mouth slip, major wild slip. Wow, I didn't see that coming. So, yeah, this is a. That like it's a terrible mouse slip and yeah, this is a curing Minsley's wounds for sure. If like, yeah, like terrible mouse slip. <laughs> oh boy. Uh so this is more securing because Minley is six point and a half, and the next guy is at five points. So basically, he draw the next two games and maybe just, like secure the win for the tournament. And yeah, two games on going. See the games are going. Um, yeah, this this is my friend Vishnu. Let's see how he does against a twenty three hundred player. Twenty three hundred player. Let's see. But man, Zavin had uh, a mouse slip. It was terrible, very terrible, to happen. A term like this. He's winning, but he just did a mouse slip. King A1, A2. Um, yeah, Vishnu is looking troubled. And okay, but uh, taking A2, but just maybe Rook takes. Yeah, B2 is a problem. Yeah, he defends with Rook B1, but doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It's just Rook B2. Yeah, Vishnu just resigns. Oh, okay. One game ongoing. This is the last game. Last game of the round. 
Master Geo again. Rook D8 check. Okay. So by the way, you take there, then what can take on C2, but doesn't do that. It goes queen, king h7. And uh, yeah, you take the queen. He, he just black just wandered the queen away. Yeah. And white won. So now it's now time for, I think, round nine? Round nine? So 10 rounds, guys. Round nine. And Min Lee is in a really good spot to win for us first. Really easy. So maybe you can draw two games. Let's see who plays. And he's playing against the 21 42. So let's see how this, like, uh, he's black again. So he didn't get white, but um, uh, draw will be sufficient to still win the tournament. But this because because uh, this pairing is so easy, I think he'll be playing for the win for sure. Bishop g7. Ooh, black trying to play. Ah, oh, yeah, exactly, Chuck. Uh, exactly, Chuck. <laughs> exactly. He tried. He tried. <laughs> Let's see. So Lakituba hasn't joined us yet. So it seems like I'm going to be streaming by myself. So the tournament is almost over. So it's fine. So black offers a draw and white took clients. Oh, wow. This guy is saying, okay, I didn't care. I don't care if you're going to be winning the tournament. I just want to play a game. So that's a, that's a good fire, a surefire way to play the game. So I like the spirit of this guy from playing white. So he doesn't care about the points. He wants to play a game against a potential win of the tournament. This is just a good game, a strong plus player. So those chances don't come very often. So it's a respectable reply to not take the draw. It's like, you want to draw? And he said, no. You know, you're going to win away so anyway. So just, I don't, I just want my game. So yeah, Queen D7. This backwards pawn on d3 will be a uh, burden. Let's see, yep, b6 to fend this guy. Though also d4 is now post, maybe. Weak squares for white from the dark squares. d4 is a very major weakness. A e5, saying that, uh, okay, trade with me. So, Black is on his base, so it's might as well. Might as well just trade. So when you're down in space, you want to trade. So why doesn't that have that clue? So, but yeah, also it's kind of rack that white has a weakness. So if you have a weakness, um, uh, you don't want to trade. So doubly bad. You're you're yeah yeah. Basically, black you did black the keys of the castle for free. Without any charge, like no, you know, there's no um, conditions. So this is really bad for white now. Really, really bad for white. G6. Just you can play, and also he's up in a minute and a half. So I guess Min Lee, oh ho ho, you're just asking for you to be losing the game. So Min Lee, okay, white after draw. So Min Lee says, no, you play too bad. You just lost your chance. You played too bad. You had to lose the game now. <laughs> so there's a counter offer, but just Min Lee declines. He says, you had your chance. <laughs> Don't decline me next time. Oh, boy. So, yeah, the Black is going to be just uh, crushing white now. Black is definitely definitely crushing now. So maybe we like one of three. It's like a, maybe... Maybe but b d5 taking this guy really good. Wants to trade down and maybe h4 is coming up next. I think I see this move coming up next. 
D3 is still an acquired weakness. And oh, F4 is asking for something, something bad to happen for his camp. H4 is coming anyways. Yep. Yep, H4. Oh boy. Oh boy, this is scary. Very, very scary. So um yeah, he's down time. Very much down time. They they can't do even this check because it couldn't have and G3, not G2 or F3. So F F four is being attacked, and also D three is being attacked. So the rook is paralyzed. So he wants to do this check, something like that. But Buck has leisure to take there. It just can you seven. We'll see what happens. Let's see how Min likes to do the finish. Yep, he does that. Very very good move. And can you seven? Now line this rook G two check. Not even doing that. So it could be seven, king f6. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, this is not going to be good. Okay. Trip says he has to go now. It was fun. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much, Trip. All right, so I had a phone call. Sorry for that. And uh, yeah, Min Lee won. So there's only one more round to go. Only one more round to go. So to finish off this, this tournament. So let's see Zevin again. Let's see how he does this time. So he's playing a 23-22 guy. King g7, king f3. Who king a7, king e3, b2, f4, king space and providing d5, rook e2, king f3 to make the rook move again. Yep, yeah. mm hmm. Yep, he wants to go rook b7. Something like that eventually. But he's thinking about it. So rook f8, yep. You have to go back there, and he goes there, rook c8, and king f6. So black is down his time, which is not going to be good for against Zavin. So Zavin is pretty good at blitz, too. Okay, he's doing tempo moves to get the rook in the position, ideally. Okay, B4, B5, getting the other pawn in the action of pass pawns. Yep, there's a check. King E4, King D4. Just helping him go with the king's, uh, the, the queen side was also only helping the white pieces. Only helps white. So b6, wow, he goes there. Rook b6, doesn't matter. So you can actually just, well, eventually if he wants to, you can just look away the rook forever. The rook is uh, be in the box if he wants to, but maybe not. Yeah, he does that right now. So, um, yeah, this interesting endgame conversion. So, yeah, uh, I think that, that would be interesting. So, like, maybe you could take that rook, king takes that rook, king there, king there, king there, and they have to attack the rook. And uh, probably take there, take there. Yeah, that would just to be a draw because the bishop versus pawn will be a draw, at the you know, the most for white. So, this is a, okay. This is a interesting end game. So, is, it'll be a draw, but maybe Zevin will be finding out a way for tricking black. We'll see how he does it. So let's see how he tried to trick black. So this is very get a game finish. Very interesting. Rookie seven, rookie seven, rookie six, rookie seven. Yep, just rep repetition. <laughs> wow. So one more game, and then the final round. The final round of the tournament. Okay, let's go for the final round. 
Yeah, final run, guys. The final run, I think. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Up. Oh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, there's two more. Oh, there's two more rounds. Okay, we still have time to enjoy the show. This guy. And what is uh, Min Lee is white now. So he's playing with for M Tagran. Okay. D4 and F3. D6 or black. That should be five. You've seen the setup before from white. D2. E4. Okay. Bishop D4. Really solid setup but for white. Castles. Takes in D4 twice. Let's see. A6. Boo. Let's see. E5. Takes an A5. Now he has to move back. Here goes the E8, which is the ugly score. E6. Uh, yep. Yeah. This is a very, very good move for Win Lee. So Black has. He can take an E6 and make his pawn pawn structure really awful. The E7 pawn will be isolated and. Weak. Or else they can do an F6 instead, but still, that takes an F7, and the pawn will be um, defended by the bishop. So now F7. Oh, it's a really interesting tactic. So they can't take the bishop because the queen hangs. So, all right. Bishop H4. Who? Okay, B5. So bishop b3, bishop b7, optimizing that bishop a little bit. Rook c1. Bishop b3, attacking the queen, yeah. Exactly. Queen f5, f3. H5, H4, C. Why should it be better? But that just looking at the pieces for black. Knight eight, bishop g seven. I think everything is cramped, like a backup jam for for black. And knight c6 is really, really just gross for Black to deal with. So basically, he's losing the exchange at the very least. And he loses the game. He resigns. And there's only one more game for. Well, only one more game for Min Lee to win the tournament. So let's see Zavin now. So yeah, he's playing Master Geo again. Master Geo. So he's up two minutes in this bus game. Wow. So apparently these guys have played a bunch of times before, and he this Master Geo guy only won once. So winning against him anytime is a really good accomplishment. So he won once, but he lost 25 more times. So let's see. Maybe maybe that was like maybe a game that Zevin mouse slipped. I don't know. G3, okay. Laws work of three, something like that. Maybe it makes me feel scared a little bit. I, but I didn't, didn't care about that. So he goes A6, knight D4 is a better square for the knight than B5. There's no work of three now. So he has to play something. So he took in D4. He almost lost in time. 
So maybe he wants to go eight, rook h5 to make this threaten uh, ace2. Maybe. Maybe. Let's see what he does. So Zabim is taking time to figure out what to do next. Work in Queen Endgame. Yep, Queen C3. And he, you know, what just follows his plan? H4, I'm expecting. Yeah, H4. G5, I'm expecting for black. Oh, well, he does that. Does that. So does it does it draw? Oh, uh, he just takes the rook in D1. Okay, this one is a queen in the game. So black has extra pawns. This is an interesting turn of events. So white has a massive time, and black has more pawns. So let's see if Zevin can beat this guy, not draw him. I think that, yeah, he's losing pawn left, left and right. So this queen of the game will be, at the very least, winning for black. But he has to make sure that, yeah, okay, he, draw, he drew Zevin. Oh, Zevin. Oh, let's see. Um, let's see how my friends are doing. So Akeem, he he won his last game. Let's see, let's see. Let's see this these guys. This is um all right, Bishop is five. Queen a5, knight f4, network b8, knight h5, yep, trying to tag the bishop with a pin, queen d8, defend the bishop, good move, h4, rook b1, takes in b1 twice, bishop b5, tip there, trade, queen a6, Queen d5. Okay, interesting. Sacrifice. So they are obliged to take an f6. And yeah. Pff, wow. And black is going to be dominated now. Dominated. Absolutely dominated. So if you go back to the position that we had here, we couldn't take with the pawn because. Yeah, he lost the game, but he couldn't take with the pawn. Knight the pawn because if they do that, pawn takes their check. The king has to go there or there, f f8, h8, or it's going to be leading a domain in two. Queen g7, king let's say e8, and then queen e7 is checkmate with a pawn defending it. So they have to do this queen sacrifice, but it ended up to being nothing, and he lost the game. All right, that was an interesting end of the game. So, so let, let's go back to Min Lee. So, I think that officially this is the last game for Min Lee in the tournament. The official last game of the tournament, if I count it correctly. So, play my older friend, Hakeem. It'll, it'll be a really exciting game. So, I'm not saying for either one, but I'm expecting that. Min Lee will be able to win the game. So, Hakeem is a guy that doesn't like to resign. He likes to play at the very end and is likes to play bravely and make sure that he doesn't make any mistakes if he can help it. Baby six, yep, does the trade light square bishops and he wants to trade off the knight for the bishop. So, he does that exactly. So, it only helps Min Lee. So let's see how this goes. Some ideas, maybe e4 will be coming by Akeem, but we'll see what happens. Queen a5. Bird 
Do you one? Look at you one. So I think the game is balanced equal. Black, uh, white has a bishop pair, but it's closed position in general. So it's in the balance. It's in the balance. So white wants to aim for opening up positions, so that way the bishop pair is more effective. But how do you do that <laughs> effectively? So we'll see. Knight f3. Okay, knight e4. Yeah, black has de this definitely better. Knight e4 is making a statement about having more space in better pieces. So mainly, yeah, I lost a bishop pair, but he has a better position. So c5 is his bricks attention in the center, not d5 pressure, but you know, I think that black has more aggressive and more realistic plans. So a3, well, so they, the bishop should go back to a1, it was really ugly. And black has a lot of play. So maybe knight d f6, knight d to f6, knight d7 to f6, maybe. Maybe, we'll see. Or maybe knight back, we'll see. Or f5, but I don't know. That, I, don't, I don't believe that he's going to do that. So knight e to f6, back. So he allows that trade if, well, it's really hard to prevent that. He can't prevent that, so he's stuck up with the time against Minli, so that's a good thing. Good sign for Hakim to stick with the time advantage, not making sure, to, making sure that he didn't go down on times too much. That's a really good mindset for him to now do that now. So this is, at the very least, I congratulate Hakim that he's playing the right way to um, play the right way against Minli, not going down on time. C5, we have a, a crucial pawn break from black. Taking the C5. Knight C4 can be available. I, I don't know how effective it is. But the bishop, I think that bishop could just move. Maybe bishop B2. But we'll see. Bishop C2. We'll see. <laughs> Let's see what Hakeem does. Bishop B1. Okay, the other one. So Bishop B1 is like, uh, we'll see what happens. It's scary. It makes me nervous for white in that case. Takes in D1, the D4 other, and the nice C3. Yeah, that, that's going to be played. Ooh, this is scary. Oh. Yeah, then another knight to go to F E4, and F3 comes to kick out the knight a little bit. But the differential about time situation that is bigger now so oh e5 is really sharp so it uh, yeah minley knows that hakeem is down on time so he does not have much time to calculate all the variations out to the end as much as you want to but he can't because he's down on time So basically, he's quadrupling his time, and Hakeem is losing the game. Yeah, this is not acceptable. Yeah, again, again, Hakeem doesn't resign. He does not believe in resigning. He wants to play at the end. This, this is the last round anyway, so it's more incentive to, to play on. A2, A1 is coming. Yep, A2. 
Or take six and queen. Take the pawn e5. Yep, even th this still doesn't want to resign at all. So Minley just brings a rook in the game and does mate. Wow. This is this is a pure example that is why Hakim doesn't resign. He's just played at the very end. So yeah, Min Lee wins the tournament with nine and a half out of ten. Let's see how Zev is doing. Mother friend. So he's playing this guy. It's not an exchange. F2 is coming. Ah, oh, yep, e3. Yep, he won the game. Very good. Very good. Let's see other friends. Other friends are playing. Let's see. Let's go down the list. Let's see. Let's really go on the down the list. Like, okay, he, he finishes his games like Vishnu. He finishes his last game. Uh, let's see this game. Let's see this game. King e6? Yeah. He wants to do something like bishop e4. Okay, he goes back. Well, after draw, black declines. Yeah, he made his king position better, but it's opposite to call bishop, so it's so hard to say that why the sub can win. Maybe he's going to do king d3. And uh, it's really denied by the black, uh, the white king in d4. And then bishop d6, uh, e7 rather, defend e3. Yeah, black has a f pawn, so you can't forget about that. You can't forget about that. So this is like a bah, he just loses the pawn. So black has a little advantage, maybe big advantage. So he, ah, uh, there's two pawns too many. See, two. You could just promote anytime. So he's tr trying to flag him. But you could just promote. You can promote. Just promote, promote, move, promote. And uh, yeah. Black is just wasting time. Yeah. He's making it, too, make it too close. Making it too close. Yeah. Promote this B2. Promote B2, boo. Yeah, so he has a second increment, so he can afford this delay of time. Yep. Yep, and uh, Queen B7 is his mate. So that is the end of this game. That's the tournament is over, and you see the standings. So... We have Min Lee in first place with nine and a half out of ten. And we have this guy, like M from Susulin. And he has 7.5 out of 10. And also my friend Zavin is third place. So he is in third. So this is a good tournament, tournament results. And this is the end of the tournament. So thank you guys for watching. And if you have gained value from watching this stream, I really appreciate it if you leave a like button. And I'll see you in the next stream and video. Bye.